Anyway, what's going on, guys? All right. Sure, let's go with that. Welcome back. Oh, Booney here. Sorry. This is a terrible intro. Anyway, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. As you can see, I'm up here in the left corner. I was told face cam was probably advisable for the remaining part of this game, so... I'm gonna do it. Anyway, last time, I believe we had that... Sunday making decorations with Yuri and then Siori came over and was like bitch put that dick in me and I was like ah nah like he was a friend and then she's like mm. and that's about it I did put some thought into it and you know I think I did make the right choice by saying that I'd only be your friend y'all can tell me otherwise but I still think I made the right choice I need to move my mic out of the way because I cannot read it's the day of the festival, I forgot today. We're gonna be going through the festival. That's fun and interesting. Anyway, my face cam, I'm gonna be looking down here most of the day. So, don't expect too much interesting stuff to happen in the upper left hand corner here. Of all days, I expect this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I consider going to her house to wake her up, but decide this a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparation for the event should be nearly complete. Good, I'm a freeloading dirtbag that does nothing for the festival. The banner Yuri and I painted to dry. I gently rolled it up to take it with me. She sent me a pleasant text to remind me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. <laughs> a pleasant text. Probably like, hey, old bitch, don't forget that fucking thing I worked hard on this day. Like, hey, gotcha. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Yuri and Yuri at the festival. Ooh. Aha! <laughs> but knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. <laughs> no, Monica, I should spend the festival with her, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. Ryan! Oh! 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 You're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny, I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica's placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be a one she prepared that all the poems were performing. In the end, I found a random poem online I thought Monica would like it and submitted it. So, that's the one I'll be performing. Way to go, me. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sarah with you. Bitch, you look concerned. That is genuine, genuine concern on her face. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You think on the days that's important, she try a little harder. I say, but I still remember what Sierra told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful. Knowing that's not nearly as simple for her. And I said because of the way I'm used to thinking. But... Maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all? <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, Ryan. I mean, especially after you exchanged it with her yesterday. Ma, oh, we kind of left her hanging this morning, you know. Exchange? Monica, you, 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 you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. What the fuck does that even mean? You just got to, what the fuck does that even mean? But I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sierra really tell her about it that quickly? About how I basically turned down her confession? I actually really seek a bad guy here. The one who knows what's best for her, right? Jeez. You don't know the four story at all, so don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. The fuck a boy? Monica's being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? The only thing that's giving me chills is that anti-gravity skirt. Why does it flow up all the time? Anyway, they came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Striking up some pleasant conversation about these pamphlets. Something that like this would definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly written on its own page, giving an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri poems from the one they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped this Yuri's poem. It's different from the ones she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Get out of my head. I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head. Listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much love you get out of head before I finish writing this poem. But poem's never actually finished. It just stops moving. Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh, what is this? Reading the poem, I got a pit in my stomach. Ryan. What's wrong? Ah, uh, nothing. 
This poem feels completely different from everything else Ciari's written, but more than that. Uh, I changed my mind. I'm going to get, I'm going to go get Ciari, so. Ah, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Zoom! Don't straighten yourself! Monica calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. The fuck does that mean? Don't strain myself? What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Ciari. It's not a big deal, at least to wait for her. Ah, I st I'm stuttering. A st st stutter. I'm sorry, my boys. Even a simple gesture of walking to her school makes her feel really happy. Besides, I told you yesterday that things would be the same as they always been. That's what she needs. I want to give it to her. I reach through his house and knock on the door. I don't expect the answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. Sorry! He's a really heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. You know, good for me though. Waking her up in her own house? Is that my son and a boyfriend would do? <laughs> in that case, it just feels right. Outside Sierra's room, I knock on her door. Sorry! Wake up, dummy! There's no response. I really don't want to have to enter a room like this. Bitch, you better not be naked. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Jesus Christ! What the fuck? I don't know! Holy fucking shit, boys. What the f- What the hell indeed, boys? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way it's gonna be real. Sierra wouldn't do this. Everything is normal until a few days ago. I'm looking behind me because I'm scared as fuck. That was so- oh. I need a second to reconvene. I'm gonna look at some memes. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Me too, ma'am. Just yesterday, I told Sierra I'd be there for her. I told her I know it's best and everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could this be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Turning down her confession. That has to be what pushed her over the edge. Her agonized scream still echoes in my in my ears. Why the deuce did she need me most? Why is it so selfish? This is this is my fucking fault. Here's me thinking, oh, I made the right choice. My swarming thoughts to kill tell me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, gave her what I know she wanted me out of our relationship, then I could have prevented this. I know I could prevent this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I had only one chance. I wasn't careful enough. I know I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. I'm still out of breath. That was a genuine throw my headset and I don't know why I said holy shit. And now, I can never take it back. Never, 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 never. Would you ba ba ba? This is your door to Monica's now. Uh... Wait, it's like uh, Monica's there. Nasuki's eye is Yuri's hair. Monica's hand is in Yuri's sock. What's that first option there? I've only been going for nine minutes. I'm not uh, gonna see what the fuck that is. Oyster Gassion, fourth to Z to the third, copyright A, tab in USA squared. 
I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air as she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is... Torshkna! My neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you see yourself making today, but the kind of just works out because you know each other so long. We used to walk school together on days like this, but starting around high school, we would oversleep more j frequently, and I get tired of waiting up. But she's going to chase after me like this. I must feel better running away. However, I decided to identify the classroom and let Torshkna catch up to me. You still do? It's an ordinary school day, like any other. Mornings are usually the worst being surrounded by couples and friends walking to school together. Meanwhile, I always walk to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I met some girls or something like that. Oh <laughs> yeah, put your dick in something new, because last time you didn't, she killed herself. If I have no motivation to join any clubs, I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time in games and anime. I might go back to that. There's always the anime club. But it's not like there'd be any girls in it anyway. Oh, there's girls and we <laughs> yeah. The ordinary the school day is ordinary as ever. It's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really isn't any that interests me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding to, for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Ryan? Oh! Let me just anti Avengers Infinity War spoilers into Monica. Monica? Oh my goodness. I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other well. We rarely talked, but we were in the same class yesterday. Monica's probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. <laughs> oh, yeah. So having her smile at me so generally feels a little... What'd you come here for anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Did you know there's any construction paper around here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. I'm gonna check the closet right now, bitch. Oh, You're in the debate club, right? Ahaha, <laughs> about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand a lot of politics around the major clubs. This feels like nothing but arguing about the budget, publicity, and how to prepare for events. I'm much rather take something I personally enjoy, making something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Ooh, no. Literature? Sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there's only three of us so far. It's very hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's not boring at all, you know? Literature can mean anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of the members even keeps a manga collection in the club room. Cool. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She's always insists that manga is literature too. It is, bitch. You best respect my manga. Yeah, anime. Two chakra in the corner. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Maka say she? Oh, they're the least anime! Hmm, hey Ryan, by any chance you're still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but in that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I wouldn't ask you to join, but if you could very least visit my club, it'd make me really happy. Please? Uh, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, I could refuse someone like Monica. Sure, I guess I'd go check it out. Ah, awesome. You're really sweet, Ryan, you know that? <laughs> it's, it's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? I'll look for the materials in our time, but more important. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. Was it today the day I sold my soul to Sayori? Oh, no. I timidly follow Monica. Is she gonna die next, then? Oh, she best not. Oh, she, she best not. I don't... No, 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 no. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third grade classes and activities. Oh, third year, sorry. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back. I brought a guest with me. Eh? Girl one. Eh? A, a guest? Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Now, Suki, I'm friendzoning you a second time.
Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Ryan. Our oh, world's giving this closer. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Now nah, it's one cute girl and two hot ones. Get it right, boy. So, let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? Wait, I was Siori's boyfriend in the other uh, timeline. Why? No, I'm not. Natsuki. Look at the sour attitude whose name appears to be Natsuki is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes you think she's probably a first year. Uh, anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. This is Yuri, the vice president. No, 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 no. Sayori is the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping with, up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, so nice to meet both of you. So I ran to Ryan in the classroom and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica! Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know... Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that what just happened to run into me. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that'd be great. Why don't you come sit down, Ryan? The girls have a few desks arranged for a former table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens a closet. I'm fucking scared. I'm going to turn around one time. There's going to be a hanging body from my lamp. This is why I don't play horror games, ladies and gentlemen. And I didn't realize it's a horror game either, ladies and gentlemen. I probably did. But I forgot. I think I actually like legitimately forgot this was labeled as a horror game. Meanwhile, Monica and Asuka sat across each other. I got too into the wine to get some e pussy. Anyway, feeling still feeling awkward. I take a seat next to Monica. So I know you don't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that I don't grab your attention is like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. It makes school events like the festival that much more important. Oh fuck, not the festival. Don't brought the festival, man. I'm confident we can really grow as a club before they graduate. Right, Nasuki? Well, I guess. Ah, I get it because she's a first year. Oh, such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. Look out the window. It's raining. It's Thursday. It's May. It's tough. It's windy. Sometimes I wonder, well, what happened? Had my wife not died? <sighs> she carefully puts a teacup in front of each of us before sitting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot tub of tea help you enjoy a good book? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri just trying to impress you. Eh, that's not. Insulted Yuri looks away. I'm, I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be my pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles yourself from relief. At least Yuri didn't change. We could still get in there, boys. So, Ryan, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read the past few years, I really don't have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quiet myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that, that can change. Bitch, you can't tell me I'm a reader when I'm about halfway through the third Harry Potter book. I messed up my assortment. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke out thing after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are using novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me, and telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reversed and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can be so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Bitch, I got the biggest imagination possible. Did you not see the chicken in the suit that I drew the other day? Whoo, that took a lot of imagination right there up in the brain area. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I read to at a minimal level. At this rate, you might as well be having a conversation with The Rock. I am a fucking rock. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I've been lifting, boys. Whoo. Aha, I expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or makes me to another world, I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful. It changes the way you look at the world only for a brief moment. Surreal horror, eh? Yeah, it definitely changed the way I look at this world. Ugh, I hate horror. 
Oh, what's that? Well, I just... She darted to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You should write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap beer behind at the club last meeting. I left a poem called, Don't say it out loud and give it back. Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems. Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometimes? No. Nasuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. I would probably. I actually like Nasuki's poems, to be honest. They're cute. I just don't like her. Friend zone. Ah, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Nasuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open to your, up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Don't you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe you should share some of your work. You can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I'm spitting because I have to have spit in my mouth to do this voice. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Ugh. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Natsuki and Yuri look, oh, Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll share them to each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Ah, uh, I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take the responsibility of vice president after all. No, you fucking didn't. I need to do my best to nurture the club as its members. Besides, now we have a new member. It seems a good step for us to take. Do you agree as, as well, Ryan? Hold on. There's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now we're the most important topic. I bluntly come forth with my mind the entire time. I never said I'd join this club. Monica may convince me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, uh... I lose my train of thought. All the three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> eh? The girls are changing before Monica turns back. I guess I need, I need to tell you the truth, Ryan. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying... Wait. Didn't we need five last time? Ugh... <sighs> I've been trying really, really hard to find new members, and if we don't find one more for the festival... I I'm defenseless against these girls! How am I supposed to make clear such moments like this? I would feel terrible for letting them down. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is probably need you need to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've I decided then. I'll join the literature club. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Ryan? Yeah. It'd be fine, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I'd be super pissed. Ryan, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything to give you a great time, okay? Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think that's that. We can push the end of this meeting on a good note. And remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem, bring it to the next meeting so we can all share. Ryan, I look forward to seeing how I express yourself. <laughs> yeah, I can really can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up beside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way my mind moves back and forth between the three girls, Asuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day in the school literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to go closer to one of these girls. I just need to make most of my circumstances. I'm sure good fortune will find me. I guess it starts with writing a poem tonight. Good fortune did not find you last time, my dude. Yeah. A dream. I'll stay over at my friend's place. There are four of us. I drift around the sleep of watching while talking and watching TV. In my dream, I'll sit at my friend's house. The only difference is that there are nails sticking out of the walls everywhere. There's also someone I didn't recognize. The person I didn't recognize told a joke and everyone laughed. I woke up to the sound of everyone laughing. And something happened on the TV. So the laughing was not part of the dream. It was the noise that woke me up. I wonder who that person was. And how they know to tell a joke at that moment. Ooh. That's dark question mark. Alright. <clears throat> it's time to get in Yuri's pants again. Hi again, Ryan. 
Glad to see you didn't run away and I said, ha ha. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was last to come in, so I went to hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Ryan. Hope this is a two-hour moment of commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst literature when you're not the most accustomed to it. Okay, that one actually like legitimately gave me a little jump scare. <laughs> Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan on just coming here to hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, we won't hear the end of it. Whoa, she's out of the text box! <laughs> Asuki is certainly a big mouth for someone who keeps a manga collection in the club room. Monica! <laughs> Stuck between Monica and Monica. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, and Asuki plops back in her seat. I'm sorry, Ryan. We'll make sure you put comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Nasuku with a disappointed glance. Uh, anyway, not sure in the club and all. Perhaps you might have an interest picking a book to read. Well, can't really say no either way. Like I said, I'm in this club now. So it feels right for me to do something about that, if you ask. Wait, wait, wait. I, I didn't mean it like that. You, you, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Ah, uh, no. That's not you, Yuri. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it. Oh, I can't. That one's gone. Holy cow. You legit can't go back to the time where Sierra existed. I oh, know it's not that, Yuri. I want to be part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Are you sure? I just feel like, well, as vice president and all, that's, uh, it should keep starting something you might like. Go reach in your bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. <laughs> it's short reads. So I keep your attention if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is the this is how girls act. How is this girl actually being so cute? She even picked out a book that she thinks I like, despite not being reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Wait, did the classroom? So, so now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some activities, but this seems to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in the book. Can't help but notice her. Intense expression as she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Nasuki's rummaging around the closet. I really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse over the cover of her book. It looks like the same book she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Uh, crap! I think she knows me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me from her eyes made for a split second. But I mixed her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry, I was just spacing out. I'm more of this since I made her uncomfortable. Oh, that's fine. If I was focused, then I probably would have a nose first pace. I'm just rereading a bit of this, so. This book you gave me, right? Mm hmm. I want to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious. How come you have two copies of the same book? Ah, well, I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, and that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that yours didn't tell me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear that. Once it starts to pick you up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? Sorry about it anyway. Well, mmm. Look at the cover of the book. The book is Portrait of Markov, Ominous Eye Symbol. Religious camp turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there as this trade turns into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse. It starts selectively breeding people and cutting off their limbs and fixating them to. Oh, oh, might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Not, not, not just thinking about the limbs. That's kind of. Dark, isn't it? Your roommate thought you were a nice story, so that dark turn came out of nowhere. Ah, are you not a fan of sort of thing, Ryan? No, it's not It's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Ah, I totally forget that you're in these kind of things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, or her mind seems to be completely different. Ah, so this kind of story is the kind of challenge you look for life, a strange new perspective. Horrible things happen not just because somebody wants to be evil, but because the world's full of horror people. Ooh. Then suddenly, uh, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. I apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. But I feel like you should let me know this. I have this problem. I feel my thoughts. My whole body gets incredibly. I'm so sorry. But I'm saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's. I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. At least I can just listen. Surgery club, after all. Ah, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, might as well get to reading it, right? <sighs> Jump scares. Whew! 
Yes, I mean, you don't have to, but... Uh, what are you saying? Let me just get the book. I click retrieve the book. All right. So I sit here, right? I slip in a seat next to Yuri's. Hey, yeah. Uh, are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. I don't want to. It's something I'm not used to. That's reading with company of someone. I see. It's not if I'm distracting you or anything. All right. Reading company. As soon as I feel a presence over my shoulder, it's re not particularly a bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but I feel somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. Rachel not actually looking her own book. I glance over. Look, she's reading from my book and said, Sorry, I was just bathing in the feeling of your body. You can't, you can't read that stuff. Yuri, you do apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do? I didn't really mean to. Sorry. I mean, uh huh. This should work, right? I slide my mask over against yours and then hold my book more between the two of them. Ah, I suppose so. She closed her own copy. Whilst we usually, know, our swords are almost touching. I feel like my left arm is in the way. I must use my right hand to hold open the book. Ah, I guess it makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Oh, I do, I'm not looking forward to whatever this fucking picture holds. Yuri takes your left arm and holds the left side of the book between her half. Ah, the same the right arm on the side of the book. That way I turn the page and your size with her thumb over her, flips over her side. Holding it like this. We're holding it closer together than before. I know it's just like gonna look at me and it's gonna be like blood in her eyes or something. It's gonna be creepy pasta. It's actually kind of distracting me. As if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? To turn the page. Ah, sorry. I think I've been distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again. Didn't know I'd be able to keep up with her. Ah, that's okay. You're not used to reading, right? She's so cute, though! <laughs> Don't mind me patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably at least I could do, since you've already been so patient with me. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Let me continue reading. Yuri no longer asked me if I'm ready to turn the page. I said I just assume she's finished the page for me, so I turned to my own violation. Volation! We get to the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning this page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently on the page flutter over to her. She catches it in her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. <laughs> the hell is that face? No, 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 no. I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses everything she said and all that. Ah ha ha! That's what you were talking about. Sorry. Thought she meant something else about her. Something else? N never mind. We didn't even get that far yet, so I don't know. I came to my head. Ha ha ha! You're, you're, you feeling all right? Eh? You're just being a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can't rest for feeling sick or something. Your breathing's a little... My breathing? You're putting her hands on her chest just to feel her heartbeat. Uh, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. All right, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up practically rush and practically rushes out. What on earth is that about? Ryan? Did something happen just now? Uh, I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, oh, not really. I was making sure she, you didn't do anything to her. No, nothing! Ah, <laughs> don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. All right, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems to each other? Eh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while. I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Uh, I was just asking. I stand up making a mental note of why I left in the book and slipped it back in my bag. Monica, I guess? Wait, I'm like trying to impress Yuri, right? So, like, why can't I share it with her? Is the game not lying me to? I start with Monica. Yesterday, she seemed eager to read my poem. Hi, Ryan. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Glad, good, glad to hear. By the way, it's new and everything. If you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities, things we could do better. Uh, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I just better have to go with the flow. Anyway, want to share a poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Ryan, we're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But that's sort of barrier we'll learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. Mm hmm. Great job, Ryan. I was going, oh, in my head. <laughs> it's really metaphorical. Not sure why, but I just want you to go for something this deep. Guess I underestimated you. Easy for me to keep everybody's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. Ah, <laughs> that's not fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes to count Ryan, right? Full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is totally detached from reality. You may get a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression she's totally not on people. She spent so much time in her own head, she's probably more interested in place for her. 
But that's why she gets so happy when you're treated with a lot of kindness. Not that she's used to being in dollars like that. She's really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming up a little strongly, like earlier. She gets too stimulated and ends up withdrawing and looks for alone time. Suddenly a door opens. Yuri! I'm back! Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time. So I'm more glad that you'll have time to need it. All right. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I'm just going my poem now. Anyway, you want to read my poem now? Don't worry. I'm not very good. I sound pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. Doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Okay. Just gotta check for the hanging person. Hole in the wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Wait. Confused, I frankly glanced at my surroundings. Wait, this is like, this is like a continuation of her poem, right? Cause like her first hole in the wall ended with, I looked through the hole or whatever. Uh, but he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frankly glanced at my surroundings. By my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in the room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on a flat sheet of paper? The sound of frantically scrawling plays ticks in my ears. The room begins to crickle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before I reach my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears. I brandish my pen. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you want to call it. Sorry, I'm not the right person to ask for feedback. Aha, <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, that kind of style got pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of people been putting emphasis on the time between words and lines. When it's performed out loud, it'd be really powerful. I think you guys felt that power when I was giving it out loud, right? Yeah, you guys felt that. What's the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say it's some kind of empathy, re em em epiphany. Epiphany! <laughs> I'm with my poem a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. Kind of nervous talking about deep stuff like that because kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone's better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you write a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. Tried your hard to make it perfect, you'll never make any progress. <laughs> Just force yourself down and tidy up later. Anyway, what do you think about it? This is. <laughs> I have to keep checking, bruh. This game is spooking now. Spoop, 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 Just move your hand, go up the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. We share it with Yuri next, boys! As Yuri's poem, I noticed her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Eh, what was that? Did I say that out loud? Yuri's fist. Yuri's first. Yuri first covers her mouth and ends up covering her whole face. Hi. He's going to hate me. Uh, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? That's. I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? The use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? I'll see your comment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? You're staring me blank and looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. I just meant, uh. Unable to find an excuse, she traced her fingers on the word poem instead of breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah, okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just their specific writing habits that usually improve with new typical writers. It's kind of weird to pick up on them. Most notable thing is recognizing your writers that they try to make their own style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick up writing styles separate from the topic matter. Uh, Inzo's both styles expressed as a weekend. Your finds a train of thought. The demeanor's totally changed. She sounds like an expert. Of course. It's not something you can be blamed for. There's many different skills and techniques to get into writing even a single poem. Not just finding them, but building them again. They work together. Well, challenging part. I take you some time, but it covers the practice of learning by example, trying new things. I also hope that everything in the club gives you more valuable feedback. Now, so can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Uh, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'll have to share my thought process behind it. After all, is it supposed to be a literature club? Ghosts under the light. Must be the one, unless you're main street light. I think this is the, the same one. Yeah, this is, this is the, the same poem that she gave me last time. I'm sorry, it's a chamber terrible hammering. What? I was thinking about that at all, but it took a long time to read. Ah. I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh, that's a relief. Also, I liked your poem, even though it was short. It's really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. No, not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. 
Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you in a ghost, Yuri? Hew hew. Actually, stories about ghosts at all, Ryan. Really. Must totally miss the point. Well, I suppose you did want to glance over it after all, but I remember the poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their own work. She wanted to tell a simple story, paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poems only be symbolically compared to ghosts. I'm kind of skipping over this because I've already read it. I just want to get on with it, move on with the story. You know, because we got limited time. That's a little more solemn, put it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh? It's nothing really. Yours is impressive too, so. Nah! If anything, you'll probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Ah. You know, I was very nervous about doing all this, but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm gonna keep doing my best for you, Ryan. Ah. Me too. <laughs> she wants a dick. Ryan, if you're not gonna take this club seriously, then go home. Whoa, what? Harsh. Did you actually put effort in this? You think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. I'm not very good, but yeah, I did put an effort. Well, let's start, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. <clears throat> it's painful to think about. Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. Fair enough. You should own, I guess. Well, anyway, I got your mind now. Knowing you, you probably think it's stupid. Yeah, I told you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest, I am. Because everyone in high school thinks that writing should be sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even try to take my writing seriously. Ugh, express yourself. Let's see, I, I, I've already, we've already gone through this stuff in the first first go around. Decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But on the other hand, the simple wordplay fall flat on purpose. I was pretty feeling last night. So you did. Guess what more is? That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Yeah, I guess not. Look at that stance. Phew. I guess that's everyone. Nice with the room. A little more stressful than anticipated. Judge me for me new writing abilities. Even though it's been nice. No way punks could adapt to theirs. It's literature club after all. I sigh. That music doesn't sound right. Mine's laying on Yuri Natsuki. As I read Tana, I watch you to express his chant. Natsuki's eyebrows fury and frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Oh, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? It's complete miss of symbolism or something? It's clear about feeling and giving up. How's that cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. Let's try and say something else. Eh? You mean to try that article with something nice to say? Oh, God. Uh, well, they have a couple of suggestions. <laughs> I was looking for suggestions to ask somebody who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and Ryan did too. So based on that, I'm glad to give you something just for my own. First of all, <coughs> excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my Ryan style. I'm expected to change anytime soon, unless of course it comes, uh, which I haven't yet. Mm. And Ryan liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. She suddenly stands up, oh. I didn't realize you were some visitor trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh, that's not what I. You're just. Your stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Ryan appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours, huh? How do you didn't appreciate my advice more? How are you that full of yourself? I know. If I was full of myself, I would be delivering going my way and make everything I do overly cutesy. Yeah. Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose booze magically grew a size bigger since Ryan started showing up. Nasuki! I'm Nasuki. That was a little. That doesn't involve you. Oh, this. Oh, wait. This doesn't involve you! Taking your insecurities out, I was like that. Whoa, 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 you wanna be edgy, bitch? Edgy, sorry that my thoughts are. Your mental age, you comprehend, see? Just saying the proof of my point. Oh, God. Think you can counterbalance toxic personalities by dressing in cat and cute? Jesus Christ! You're acting cute. Wanna be careful, Edgy Yuri? Oh my bad, you already do, don't you? Just excuse me, cutting myself? What the fuck's wrong with you in your head? Yeah, go on, let Ryan hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Ah, uh, suddenly Yuri turns to me, she, so I know I was standing here. Ryan, she's just, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. What do you do? Oh my god!
Um, hey Ryan. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay. Sorry about that. I really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some president I am, right? Can't even confront my own club members properly. <sighs> Never had any put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, this makes me want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. So then Asuki runs out of the classroom. She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri's rocking back and forth on her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it! I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Ryan, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's nothing wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget about by tomorrow. Completely. It's weird. Anyway. Anyway, the meeting's over, so we can go home if we want. I'm gonna save the game. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. She keeps glancing at Monica. Y you can go first, Monica. I like to stay a little bit longer. I am the president. I should do the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm the vice president, so please let me take responsibility today. Kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much chance to discuss my bush with Ryan. I would like... It would just be embarrassing for you to listen. <sighs> I guess I really didn't have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. Well, <clears throat> I'm gonna end the episode right there. Okay, I'm glad. Shout out, Sam. You said face cam. Good call. Uh, if you guys are just watching this episode of fucking this, leave a like. Um, I can only imagine it gets worse from here. If you liked it, like, comment, all that jazz. Uh, and I'll see you guys all in the next episode, which will be in about 20 seconds. So see you then.